Good morning, it's 9am on Tuesday the 21st of May and it's time for today in my bujo. So how are you? There wasn't a today in my bujo yesterday. Um, I was on the tail end of the migraine and then I had to go and get my eyes tested yesterday. And that always, always sparks off a migraine with me because they shine fucking lights in your eyes and all of that lot. And I'm photosensitive, so I basically came out of there with a pounding headache and it just got worse throughout the day. I was hoping it was going to get better, but it, it didn't. And by last night, it was just like, there's not going to... I'd done the morning one, I just couldn't... There's no way I was going to do the evening edition. I just felt like crap. So, I didn't do it. <laughs> So the upside of my eye test is that I need very focals. I wear these, these are reading glasses. And um, I also wear um, sunglasses pretty much most of the time because of my photosensitivity. And she said, uh, my reading glasses definitely need changing because <clears throat> it's been so long since they've been done. And um, I also need distance lenses. She said not very strong ones, they are very, very mild, but she said just it might help with the headaches because I suffer from migraines quite a lot as you have obviously clicked on by now. And um, yeah, so uh, I've got to get very focused. Which, um, yeah, that, that, that cost quite a lot of money. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Um, what else did I do yesterday? I made an envelope. <coughs> I made this envelope, look. Um, this holds all of my eye test paperwork, so this is my prescription here, and then there was a voucher thing and an appointment card, and, you know, and I just thought, you know, that would, um, I'll stick that on my budget and then I know where it is. So I just used green card and I made a, <coughs> I don't know how well you can see that, sorry I've got that frog again, it's always, always, isn't it? I measured the width of what I wanted to put in here, I doubled it and then I added about another inch, yeah, and then... I added, I worked out how long I wanted it and I added an inch to the bottom of that, yeah. Then I scored at the width of the paperwork, so it came in this wide, which I think was about three and a half inches. Scored there, scored again at another three and a half inches, so at seven inches, and then I had an inch left on the end of the paperwork, which was this bit. Then I scored an inch along the bottom, I, so I had rectangle, rectangle, and then this little bit on the end. I cut off the bit at the bottom of the left rectangle and the right, this little bit, and left the bit in the middle. I rounded the corners and then I folded over the big bit, the little bit, glued that down, and then I brought up the bottom bit and glued that down. And then um, I made this when I got my punch the other week and um, stuck that on which I thought made it look quite nice, I quite like that and I'm going to stick it in my journal <coughs> in the, um, I was going to use pretty tape because I'm trying really really hard to get more scrapbooky but then I realised if I put pretty tape in it I'm going to cover up what I've written and I've already sketched out what should have been yesterday's and I didn't want to redo it so I'm going to use invisible tape just to, and it's going to sit in there so, yeah. I don't know when I'll stick that in, but I will stick it in at some point. I might not do it until I finish the book because it's going to get in the way when I write on it. And because this is such thin paper that I can just see me even at the end of the thing, there's quite a. you can feel the ridge. So I may not actually stick it in until I finish the book. We'll see. But I pick my glasses up next Thursday. So I'm quite excited about that. What else did I do yesterday? Oh! <clears throat> I bought quite a while ago some Daler and Rowney watercolour paints and they were in tubes and I didn't know what to do and then I watched Amanda's video and she showed you how you um, pour paint so I spent this, well I've spent the last probably couple of weeks and I did a bit of research online, these are all Amanda's paints at the top, they came in the pan so yeah don't ignore those for a minute but um, yeah I basically poured my paint and it's, it's amazing to watch. You can see, especially on that one, there's like a hole in the middle. Because you pour it and you fill it right up. And then you look at it two days later and it's filling up like, you know, a minuscule amount at the bottom of your pan. You're like, what the hell? But I put loads in there. But then as it sort of dries, it compacts in on itself. So you could get, you get absolute shed loads in these little half pans, you know? So I did that and then I pulled a page out of my mixed media um, pad 
and I made a, um, a key. Is that what it is? A key? Yeah. Or a sample card or whatever. So I wrote down each um, colour name and um, then did a swatch above it. Swatch card, yeah, swatch card, sample card, key, <laughs> that kind of thing. So that, you know, when I come to open it, I know, you know. I may label, especially these two, and the gold with an S for shimmer. Um, obviously none of the Dahlia and Rowney ones have got any, but the Blue Lagoon, Violet Daydreams and the Gold Nugget are all shimmer, so I might, you know, put an S on there just so that I know that those are definitely shimmers, because in some lights you just can't tell. Um, yeah, so I was quite, quite pleased with that. So, yeah. And they, they all, they're all dry, well, almost. And they're still a bit damp from yesterday because I sprayed water on them yesterday so while I was making the um, swatch card. That's the thing that it take these take ages to dry, you know. I don't know whether it's because they're cheap, Dela and Rowney, you know, um, or or what, but they do take quite a while to dry. But then it's kept flat in my thing, so I'm not majorly worried. I might just leave that open and let it dry a little bit more. It's gonna be a pain if I have to leave it open every time I flip and use them, so anyway. That's enough of that. That's that's everything that I had on my list. I had a list of things to discuss with you. Um, sorry, it's over in the corner, but I've got um, um, financial shit written. So yeah, there's uh, spec savers, need new glasses. My test caused migraine, made an envelope, and I poured paint. So there you go. That was my day yesterday, pretty much. And today, my day is going to consist of gardening because you know my back. I must do a before and after shot. I always forget to do that. My weather app still is not updated. I emailed them this morning to say, look, you know, my app hasn't updated since Saturday now. Um, you know, what's going on? So I'm just waiting for a reply from them. So yesterday I put my day face cream and I did my makeup. The challenges are penciled in. I just haven't finished them. Um, I did not have any alcohol yesterday yay me but i did have fizzy and i had caffeine because i had a can of coke um i did not have chips i didn't craft um so i need to do today's word or yesterday's word and i did do my night face cream and my hands so let's jump through to <coughs> we went to that appointment and that appointment the number transfer happened, so my number has now been moved from one cell network to another. Um, basically, they give me a better deal and I get better service here. You know, it's a bit stupid when I'm standing in ride. If you saw my last out and about video, you'll know how close to the mainland we are when we're in ride. It's, you can see it, do you know what I mean? It's 10, 15 minutes on a ferry to get across. It's that far away. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, and you know, I get brilliant signal over in Portsmouth, but shit signal in Ride. I can't even access the internet in Ride on my old provider. So um, I moved. Yes. So today I need to clear my desk. I did tidy it up. I just need to clear some stuff. You know, I've got paperwork that's been needing to be sorted out for bloody ages, and um, I just haven't done it. Uh, Let me stop that one. I've lost a pen, there it is. Okay, so yesterday. My mood was good yesterday. My pain spiked due to this bloody headache that's still lingering now. It's almost like being told you need glasses because your prescription isn't strong enough and because your distance vision is fucked. That's given my brain the psychological suggestion that I need, I'm gonna have a headache now because, you know, because I need glasses. Right, yesterday I did 13,358 steps. Yesterday I filled up the dishwasher, but I didn't turn it on. <laughs> I got up this morning and it was full of dirty plates. I was like, seriously, this is what it's like when I get a headache. So yeah, it's been on this morning. <laughs> It'll have to go on again tonight to do today's stuff, but. Ooh, apparently I've got an update on my computer. I just noticed the little one on the settings. Hmm. 
So yeah. Um, oh, I get my nails sorted tonight. Yay! And we did. Yeah, so I've sketched in tropical flowers there and a pair of stirrup pants. <laughs> it's, it's very basic drawing my stirrup pants because I was just like, I can't be fucking bothered. So I'm going to fill those in probably tonight when I get home. I might do it a bit later. It depends. I've got chores to do and it depends on how quickly I get today done, you know. So let's check the Okay, right. If anybody wonders what this bit of paper is that I keep moving, basically I'm using it like a blotting paper. We get Tom away with paper is, I'm, I love it. I absolutely love it. Next month I will be going back to the Navigator paper, which while I'm quite looking forward to it, I'm really going to miss the Tom away. And then after that it'll be Tom away with paper because I'm just, I'm in love with it. Um, oh, and I haven't, uh, Jolyn, your comment um, a few videos ago, I would love that gift. If, if you, if, yes, please. Um, yes, I would love some higher grade Tomoe paper just to play with, if nothing else. Um, yes, please. Thank you, darling. Love you. I'm going to have to send you some stuff from the UK. Is there anything that you want? Because you've sent me so many goodies and so much stuff that, you know, just, I, I do like to return the favour and send stuff. Um, you've had a Daryl postcard, haven't you? I would hope that you have. Um, weather. I could be looking for weather while I'm talking, but I get distracted. Now, as that's not updating, because I checked it this morning before coming on, just so that I could uh, hopefully save a little bit of time. Yeah, see, we're still stuck on um, Saturday. And the little wheel goes round and round and round and round and round, and then eventually it just comes up with a little red triangle. Um, when I click it, it says connection to the server was lost. There's nothing wrong with my internet. I've tried it both on my cell signal and my Wi-Fi, and it just does not want to know. And I'm using a different cell company today that I was using two days ago. So it's not that. There must be a problem at their end, so I've emailed them, and hopefully that will sort it. But I'm not going to sit here while that goes round and round and round. The annoying thing is, though, that tells me my flipping um, sunrise and sunset times as well, so it's really annoying weather forecast today yes you can use my current location because I'm nice like that oh a high of 17 and a low of 11 and it's sunshine all the way hence why I'm gardening today because my lawn my lawn is basically this big area I'll try and put a picture I'm gonna try and put a picture in here of my lawn okay um, but my lawn is basically a, a mm, it's weeds, it's dandelions, there's no grass left, it's just fucking weeds all over it and I'm so pissed off. So I'm going to get out there and mow it to within an inch of its life and then I'm going to check with my mother who's way up on the weather forecasts whether I can do it today. And if she says I can, I'm gonna get out there and pour weed kill all over the fucking stuff. And before anybody shouts at me about, oh, chemicals and all that lot, I don't care. I want a sodding lawn that when the nicer weather hits full time, my kid can get out there and play on it. You know, so like, what did I say? 17 and 11, didn't I? Even warmer than yesterday and it was nice yesterday. High of 17 and a low of 11, look at that. Right, let's check the sunrise and sunset times. <clears throat> oh, I love this. Time and date tells you, um, oh, not only sunrise and sunset, how long the sun is going to be up for. This is timeanddate.com. This is their website. This is quite cool. I might just use this in future. So can you see that? You've got there the time, sunset, sunrise, sunset how long it's going to be up for the sun so 15 hours and 46 minutes Isn't that lovely and then the current date and time sun direction sun altitude the sun distance 94.073 million miles away that's cool next solstice is 21st of june that's the day after my birthday i was born on midsummer's eve explains a lot doesn't it and then um it just 
tells you again the sunrise and sunset. That's quite cool, isn't it? I like the fact that it tells you how far away the sun is. What a cool idea. What if there's an app for that? <laughs> right, anyway. Uh, so, 0509. Wow, it's getting earlier and earlier. Till 8.55 tonight. We are nearly into the 9pm section. I'm sorry if you can hear background noise. My son is in the bathroom. I'm going to unplug the baby monitor and then don't have to listen because it come, it's echoing down through the baby monitor. Um, just realised I'm not in focus, sorry. Uh, yeah, it echoes down through the baby monitor. Oh yeah, I was saying about the blotting paper. <laughs> yeah, um, Tom Ray Ruby paper is fantastic but it takes just that split second longer for the ink to soak into the page. So all I do is literally I just tuck that bit of paper in, move to the next page and in that time it will dry. And if it doesn't, my bit of paper, now you know how long I've been doing this, see there's barely a mark on it, that black mark at the bottom I was using, I can't remember but I, got, I think I got something on my fingers and I wiped it off on there, but yeah see it's just there's hardly anything on there but it is just worth having it because I don't like the, I don't want it to be smeared all over the pages. So I've done my day face cream, I've not got any makeup on today because I'm not going anywhere except on the school run, so I to pick up Daryl. Um, deck shall I use today? I'm going to put out my Nature's Whispers Oracle deck, guys, because I haven't used that this month. So, we need to draw another box. You can hear my son clipping his toenails. What a disgusting sound. Funny though, isn't it? He clips them before he gets in the bath, and I clip them when I get out. Are you a before or after a toenail clipper? Um, let's do time warp again. No, let's do red because I am in a red mood. This is colour 847. What a fab colour! Isn't that gorgeous? I love that one. 847 is the Nature's Whispers Oracle. I dusted these the other week because I was on the same trouble that I was having with the um, big tarot deck. You ever do enchantment one? Again, this is a big, big deck. Illumination. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this deck. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so illumination. It's a really bright full moon in that card and it lights up everything, doesn't it? If you notice that, that when, when the moon is at its fullest and it's a clear night, it's as clear as day, yeah? And that's basically what this card is saying to me. Um, I'm gonna see things in a new way. Um, maybe change how you look at things. Maybe when something comes a bit clearer, it's easier to see something and it might change your view on it, or it might just give you more hope that things are going to be okay or whatever, yeah? Clarity, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. I put a new light shone on a situation will bring hope and clarity. So there we go. I don't know that I like those Zoe and Conjuring pens, you know. I'm so excited to get them, and bless Jolene for sending them to me, but I'm kind of like, they're a bit, ugh, aren't they? Right, let's go back to Fitbit and do my sleep. I went to bed early last night, I was asleep by 11 o'clock, because this sodding headache. 11 until my alarm went off at 7, and I dozed for about another 15 minutes. And all in all, I slept really well. I don't want to get up this morning. I was like, no, I'm warm and comfortable and I just want to sleep. And Daryl wasn't awake. I had to go make him up at half past seven. Oops, that's my dishwasher. The dishes are clean, yay! Um, yeah, so it was kind of like, oh, I just want to stay in bed. Now I go and I'll wake him up. He's all snuggly. The first thing he does is climbs on my lap for a cuddle and it's like, oh, I miss these days when you cuddled all the time. Right, um, gold pen, gold pen, gold pen, gold pen. No, that's the silver pen. I want the gold pen. Where's the gold pen? It was actually sticking up out of the car. 13,358 steps 
is 5.47 miles. Good, good, good. That's good. Okay, so today I have done the dishwasher, but I will colour in yesterday's because it is all yesterday's stuff and it'll have to be redone for today. So I've done the loo. I'm about to go out and sort out laundry. Uh -huh. Bin day today. Well, it's not bin day tomorrow, but they come anything from 7 a.m. And I'm not getting up that early to put my fucking bin out. So they can go out from 7 p.m. the night before. That's the, the rule where I live, so that's cool. So today, I've got a list. <laughs> I've got a list on my phone of stuff that I want to get done, which is... No, it's not that app. It's that app over there, my checklist app. Mow the lawn, hang the laundry, put in another laundry load, do your chores. So that's, you know, that list. Um, today, my bujo, so I can tick that because I've done that. Yay! Start organising the office, which means basically um, during my life, a lot of people said, why not move my knitting and spinning stuff into the lounge? Because that's where I do my knitting and spinning. And then that'll give me a bit of room in that big calyx unit you can see behind me over there. Hang on, let's just make this a bit bigger. And then you'll know what I'm talking about and make it a bit easier for you guys to see. There's a big calyx unit here, five by five one, and it's full of a lot of my knitting and spinning stuff, as well as my, um, you know, just general stuff. And um, during my live, a lot of people said, why don't you move all your knitting and spinning stuff into the lounge? Because I've got a two by four calyx unit in there as well. So I need to do that at some point, and then that gives me a lot more room for the craft stuff, which is taking over my life. And it's Wendy's fault, because she sent me loads of stuff. So that's on my list, and clear my desk. Will I get all this done today? I'm certainly going to do the lawn and the laundry and my chores. Whether I get on to organising in here or not, I don't know, because I've got a list here as well that I need to get done. So, so much to do. So, so much to do. Right. Um, this was a little bathtub I made. Look. Look what I drew that. And then I don't... You can't see anything incriminating before anybody complains, okay? I made sure the shot didn't show any for the parts. Rudy Nudy is something we shout as a family when children get naked for bike. <gasps> Rudy Nudy! And they go ha 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 and run down the hallway. That's it. So yeah I made that just as, as a memory and I love this little bathtub. I drew this in one of my journals months and months and months ago and I spent Amanda's life hunting through my journal so that I could copy it because <laughs> I can't draw it out of my head I'm useless. Okay so we need to get on to today. Um, we don't have elderberry, so we need to go on to snow cone. Now, what did I do? Wait, what was I thought I'd move the stencil, but then I think I thought, move it back. Otherwise, um, you'll never find it again. I don't know why I don't tuck it in my actual poppins. It would make more sense. Snow okay. cone. Oh, it's the 21st of May, when did that happen? Less than a month to my birthday, yay! I think the issue I'm having is that the two has been quite roughly cut and it's a bit hard to sort of squish the thing down. It gets caught on the plastic. Which is why you end up with this dark line around it all. Because it's not going on smoothly. So that's me set up for today. Um, didn't write the day on that one. Yeah, I should really like sort of pop this in here, but then I think it might get damaged. And that is a photo for April that I never actually put in here. It was a photo we took during the um, Isle of Wight Festival, and um. It was the most awesome day because we saw Queen that day. Something we had been planning to do for years. And the reason I'm sticking this in here is because he and I broke up in April, just after the car fire. Um, it's cool, we're still friends, you know, he knows why we broke up. But that was in happier times. 
So yeah, that's gone in there. Hmm, yeah, I'd sort of like stick that in there, I suppose. Then I think pulling it out every day would wind me up, so it just get dumped over there. There's a buzzy thing. Why do buzzy things fly in the massive great hole in the wall, you know, where the doors open, and then panic because I can't get out again? Stupid buzzy things. And I'm not going to scream and deafen you more because, you know, as long as it stays over there, that's fine. I'm just going to write in Monday for yesterday's because I didn't do it. I'm going to go and get on. And um, yeah, we'll finish this up tonight, okay? So have a fantastic day. I should be really safe at my chores so I know what I've got to get done today because it's quite a lot. Yeah, right. I'm going to go and get on. And I will see you all in the evening edition. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the evening edition. I just got back from the nail bar. You wanna see? Are you ready to see? I hope, I really, really hope they show up well in this light because the last set didn't show up how I wanted them to. But this is the new set. I'm just gonna adjust the um, focus a little bit. So you guys can see, can you see that? There's sort of like blues and greens and a sort of little bit of purple. It's really, really hard to capture something like this on on camera. But anyway, there you go. That's it. I really like them. Excuse the noise in the background. My son's online and um, he's one of those that seems to think everybody else is deaf. So even though he's on a headset and so is the person he's talking to. So, exhausted, absolutely exhausted. My arms ache, my back aches, my everything aches. So I have tea. Okay, so, oh. I do not wear makeup. I haven't sketched the challenge. I don't even know what the challenges today are. I haven't had any booze. I've had fizzy and I've had caffeine, I've had chips, I haven't crafted, so yeah. Okay. Um. So my mood is pretty good because I've been working hard in the garden, trouble is so is my pain. Because I've been working hard in the garden. You know how it goes. I'm really tired. So, um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually get done tonight. Thankfully I've edited the first part of the video, so that's just ready. I've just got to add on this bit, which is kind of why I don't really want it to be too long. Um, so... I did laundry, I did a little bit in my office. The elliptical trainer that used to be there is gone. Yay, I vacuumed downstairs. I did Daryl's table. Uh, the dishwasher's full, I've just got to turn it on and I've got to sort the bins. So um, I also did the garden. And I not only did the back garden, I did out the front too. Um, I live um, like on a main road but I live set just up from the main road. So you get out of my house and you look down over a wall and the pavement's down there. So there's a path out the front of my house and it's only really people who live up here that walk along here, but the path's cracked and old and it, of course weeds grow up through all the cracks and shit and I haven't done anything with it since, pretty much since I, what, three years? <laughs> So I got out there today and I cleared all that. I cut down a big fuck off fuchsia bush that was growing in my garden. I like the fat fuchsias and this was that skinny, skinny fuchsia. So I cut all that down and cut out so I had thistles and weeds and all sorts. Of. Basically, I started when I finished um, edit. No, I didn't even edit this morning. I finished filming this morning and I went out and started on the lawn. 
I mowed the lawn three times. Insert picture here of my lawn because it is freaking awesome. I'm really, really pleased with it. Doesn't that look gorgeous? It's, yeah. I mowed it once to get the length down and then I mowed it again to make it short. Yeah. But I actually mowed it sort of a couple of times just to make sure because it's so, so heavy with dandelions. I just wanted to make sure I got everything. Um, but wait, well, yeah. wow, it looks so much better. I didn't weed killer it. Um, I was going to do it this evening, but it's like half past 10 and I've only just got home. So um, I might do it in the morning before I go out. I didn't want to do it like in the middle of the afternoon because it was too warm. And um, I just thought the stuff would evaporate. I was going to do it this evening, but I might do it in the morning before before I actually go out so that it has a chance to soak in before it gets too hot. So yes, I did, you know, I did all that. So I was quite, I was quite pleased, I'm quite pleased with myself. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what one are we up to? We're on the rocket eek, yay. Um, I haven't done any of that though. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've had my nails done and John's Club came and collected the electrical trainer. We've got to charity. Yay. Yay me. Right. Now, what were the challenges? Oh my god, it's the kid sister. I hate trying to. I really do not want to draw that. Oh, fuck. And trop... No, that was just do. Oh, I put tropical flowers in on the 20th. Oh, yay me. Oh, that's all right then. So I can, I'll can i just draw them there instead of on the 21st. That's fine. Because what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to journal on the back of this envelope a bit so it won't matter that I've sort of pretty much filled that page up. Oh, man. I don't know that I can draw this kid sister thing. It's fugly, isn't it? It's... I can't do faces. I really can't. That's why I didn't do the My Buddy. I just did the logo. So I'm thinking I might cheat and do the Good Sister logo. Oh dear. Oh well, none of those look like um. Yeah, that's the one I want. It's like that My Buddy done off look like Chucky, doesn't it? So yeah, well, I'm going to do the Tropical Flowers, the Kid Sister logo, I can fucking wait. I'm really not in the mood. Okay, I'm stopping there. I've made a right balls up of that. I'm not very happy with it at all. Um, it just, it looks smudgy and horrible to me. But I'm not used to these paints, so... 
think I'm going to make that look any better by fucking around with it, am I? Um, yeah, got a big swatch of water there as well. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I don't know, couldn't get it to look how I wanted it. Should have just left it fucking yellow, really, shouldn't I? Never mind. This is why I get annoyed with myself because it never looks how I expect it to look. <laughs> This is why I use reference pictures. Because when I jet out my fucking head, I end up with that. So, yeah. I'm really not happy with that at all. But I don't know how to fix it. I can't do the next page because that's too wet. And quite frankly, I'm not going to sit here for half an hour and do it. Because it's quarter past 11 and I want to go to bed. So, I'm leaving it there. Um, I'm really, really tired. There'll be a live tomorrow. So, there won't be a today, my bujo. Um, it'll be at half past seven. So, you know, feel free to come along and join us then. That's half past seven UK time. Uh, I believe that's about 2.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Although, you know, I wouldn't blame you if you give it a thumbs down for that mess. <laughs> Click the book and you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Please do leave us comments because we like those as well. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Oh, I'm going to go to bed. Oh. I'm tired. See you tomorrow.